Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're gonna dive into why many companies are choosing Softer instead of Stacker for building their apps. So in this video, we actually are going through this comparison, and while there's gonna be a lot of great info inside of it, I will recommend that you go to our website to softer.io slash softer versus Stacker, where we have a complete comparison page that breaks down a bunch of different information on the difference between these two platforms. So first and foremost, both platforms can create portals and internal tools, but they have some differences in the process of building and the outcomes. So first let's talk about how software is very simple and how it is very powerful. Some of our users come after having tried Stacker and failing to understand and have a good experience in the platform. Stacker is more templatized and offers less flexibility and customization, unlike Softer, where if you're having a problem inside of Stacker, you're pretty much stuck and don't get help unless you're on the enterprise plan. While there are more features on Softer, the UX and UI experience helps users easily understand all of the capabilities and use them effectively. In Softer, you have much more control over design and the layout, and we offer more advanced building blocks like charts and calendars. So pretty much any design you can think of is possible. And with software templates, you can have a beautiful, fully responsive app within seconds. In addition, you can easily turn your web app into a mobile app with the click of a button. You can download it as an app and use that app on the go. This is easily done inside of the software experience. I've actually made a video on this, but it's pretty simple. You can go to settings and then enable the mobile app. There's a couple more steps in there, but it's as simple as a few clicks. So let's talk about some of the feature differences between the two of these. Some of the things that Softer allows users to have are public pages where there is no need for login and have advanced authentication options. None of these are possible in Stacker. Another big thing in Softer is that we have amazingly powerful user groups and permissions at a very granular level. We've made multiple videos on this, but user groups and permissions allow you to make pages, blocks, and even fields be visible or not and be changed or not. All of these settings can be seen within the visibility and the button options, as well as the page options inside of Softer. We've made videos on this before and would love for you to check those out, but this is a much higher level of granularity than you're gonna get with Stacker. So next we can talk about the Airtable integration. Many users have complained about the slow integrations between Stacker and Airtable. When there are updates, they have many delays between the two. And in Softer, we actually have data sync in real time, so zero delay. Anything you update in your front end gets reflected in the Airtable base and vice versa. It's immediate and allows you to have a seamless experience with data being 100% up to date all the time. We also have other options like Google Sheets as well as Smart Suite for data sources, which are definitely above and beyond what we have in Stacker. In Softer, we have worked a lot to offer our users native integrations with the more commonly used apps, like Stripe, Zapier, Google Analytics, and of course, different data sources we have, like Airtable, Google Sheets, and SmartSuite, as well as more coming soon. If you wanna check out any of the integrations, you can go to Settings and click out Integrations for the non-data source related integrations, and even you can request a new integration to submit to the software team. Speaking of submissions and support, in Softer, you can always contact our team of software experts if you have any problems and get a response rather quickly. You can also look for answers in our community and in other videos on this channel. In Stacker, support works a little bit differently. You just have to book an appointment and wait until the date to solve their issues. Otherwise, you can also consult the community. At Softer here, we also have this really nice uh, chat with us feature that allows you to chat with members on the team and get support questions answered in minutes. Another big thing regarding the pricing differential between Stacker and Softer, which can really be seen quickly is, if you go to the pricing page, you'll notice that at minimum, Stacker starts at $59 per month. So the pricing is definitely different. The next plans are at 149, 290 and so on. But for Softer, we actually have a free plan and a basic plan that is cheaper than the starter plan. And then even our initial professional plan is cheaper. Uh, actually across the board, our service just costs a little bit less, which pretty great. Essentially, if you get the monthly option for software, it's somehow even cheaper than the yearly option for a lot of the stacker pricing models. And what I like is that we have more options and we just have a higher level of customization that you can choose your 
plan and not be bought into something spend wise immediately. Like testing out a product to me has always been great. And while Stacker does offer a 30 day trial, sometimes you need a little bit more than that. And having a free plan makes that easy to do. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you do wanna do a comparison between the two of these, I would definitely check out the differences between these two products again on the comparison page. The link will be down below. But between the extra integrations, the pricing changes, and the data just being up to date in real time, yeah, that's that's nice. I, I, I would say that you know, software's got a couple legs up there. If you found this useful, please like the video and subscribe. Make sure to share the video with others who are looking for an amazing, simple app builder. And if you wanna keep learning about software, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment with what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.